it's Lisa from Holly Bobs and welcome back to my chronic fatigue diary. I'm going to be sharing five tips on how to get through the darker months when you have a chronic illness. Tip number one, get a light. <laughs> and now that I don't mean any ordinary lights like these, I mean get some sort of uh, daylight lamp that you can put on through the day, through the darker day to try and compensate for the lack of sunshine that you are getting into your body. I have a Lumi light which is on over here which also serves as my alarm clock and a sort of bedtime reading lamp but I generally put it on during the day when I'm having a nap or if I'm just up here relaxing and um, they say that having these lights kind of tries to substitute for the lack of daylight that you're getting and is supposed to help you with sort of your downtimes in the winter months. You can also invest in a light box which are more expensive um, but are supposed to be better I think because they are the proper full daylight lamps and they're sort of kind of this size and you can sit in front of them and sort of get the glow of the light so if you are struggling with your darker months if you can I would definitely recommend investing in some sort of light to help you through. Number two, get outside as much as you can. I know it's difficult because usually you're extra tired at this time of year and also the weather's not great, it's cold, it's breezy, it's rainy, it's just miserable but on dry days and even if there's just a patch where the rain eases off in the day or even if you're just literally getting outside for five minutes under an umbrella try and get out into the daylight try not to sit in your house all day every day because for one thing seeing four walls continuously can make you really down but also just trying to get that bit of natural light can help you more than you would actually realize so i don't always do it myself but i should take my own advice but i would suggest if you can try and get out and just take a little walk, even if it's only like a minute round your block, just try and have a bit of fresh air and outside light. Number three, rest as much as you need. These months are really hard, and even with children, I still rest as much as I can. Obviously, it helps if you've got support, if somebody can look after the children, if somebody can do the school run for you, if someone can do tea or breakfast or whatever else, it helps you out, but even if not, try and rest if you've got a baby sleep when they sleep if you've got a toddler take advantage or a preschooler take advantage of the free hours at nursery if you've got school children rest when they're in school and if you've got older children and who are more independent try and get them to do their own things like get up and make their own breakfast just so you get that extra bit of time in bed on a morning and if you feel that you need to go back to bed go back to bed. If you feel you need to sit on the sofa and do nothing, if your housework's falling behind, it doesn't matter. Get the rest that you need when you can because it is crucial that you feel as rested as you can to get through these days and these weeks and these months because the more unrested you are, the more it is going to build up and the more you will crash and you are risking a relapse, which is not something you want. It's not something that you'll be easily to manage in your life. You know, a relapse can really, really you know, affect your lives. So all I can say is rest, rest, rest. Number four, accept your limits. Now this is a really, really difficult one. I found it slightly easier this year, but previously I've always fought it. I probably still do fight it to be fair because you always find when you're having better days and you're feeling better, you think, I'm gonna go out and do something. I'm gonna go out and live my life because I, most of the time I spend it sleeping. So when I'm feeling better, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go. But obviously then that leads to a crash for a lot of us and we all know this boom bust cycle and you know it's hard not to but what I would say is don't stress yourself if you're not getting stuff done and don't push yourself too hard on those days that you're feeling better try and find a bit of a balance in between I am not there yet I'm nowhere near yet and I am still like this constantly but I know it's something I've got to work on and I'm hoping once we've got Christmas and things like that out of the way, I'm really going to focus on it because I am fed up of feeling like this and I really want to get a handle on it. So the new year is my time to get a handle on this. So give yourself some sort of focus to try and concentrate on this pace and work on managing your energy levels. But don't beat yourself up if you are not doing the things that you feel like you should be doing, like your housework, like your cooking, like being there and being you know the perfect parent for your children because you just cannot do it at all when you've got this illness and it's so hard not to compare yourself to either how you were before or other parents or other people out there um, but you just cannot you've got to do things at your own pace and accept your own limits number five now this might not be possible for everybody but if you have a little bit of spare money invest it in your health 
this is something that I am going to focus on again because I feel like I spend money on silly things like clothes and, or makeup or whatever else, clothes that kids don't need, instead of investing in my own health. And um, by that I would say try and take a holiday somewhere where it's sunny, even if you only do it for a weekend. That vitamin D and that sun will massively boost you up. But also if there's some sort of health care that you've been putting off because it's going to cost you money and you can't get it on the NHS, just do it because you just don't know what that might lead to and what kind of progression you might see from that. Um, so in the new year I am definitely going to look into some sort of treatments and speak to some specialists to see if I can get anywhere with my own health. So that is it for this month. Oh, thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.